Okay, let's say you have a circle like this, a random circle with a random diameter. And hide the duplicate for now, we don't need it. So let's say you trim this guy. And you extrude the sheet. You extrude the solid, make something like this. Edge mode, control, alt, BD. You fill it both faces, pressing control 2, BD. And you don't need the curve any longer. And you have created the awesome piece of design. And 50 years later, for whatever reason, you want to recreate the circle you had at the beginning of your design career. No problem, you can create it out of this solid. So duplicate this curve. Shifty, and there are two ways I know of how you can recreate the curve with the exact same diameter. The first one is going to control point mode, select one control point, look for extent, type in a high number, something like this. Once you have the diameter, you can simply go to two point circle. Click here the second time and you have this circle with the same diameter as the original one. So let's double check. Unhide this one and they are identical. Let me show you the second way I know of, which is much faster. Again, you have this guy, which you have created out of the solid. Just go to three point circle. First click, second click, third click. And there you have it. And if we double check, you again have created the identical circle with the same diameter out of the solid. So why do I show this? It's of course always good practice to put your construction curves in a separate folder and deactivate the folder so you can always go back and recreate the solids and sheets out of the construction curves. I have them always as a backup, but in most cases, the information for recreating the curves are already hidden in the sheets and solids you have created out of the curves. Just in case you delete the curves, you are able to recreate them out of the solids or sheets. So it's not the end of the world if you have deleted your construction curves. That's the point of this video.